Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic is programming sheet metal parts. So as an add-on to SolidWorks, we can work with any kind of geometry that, that SolidWorks will generate. In this case, I'll show you how to use a sheet metal part. So if you have the sheet metal add-on to SolidWorks, you can create a part sort of like this one. This is just a simple box. Uh, I've put a couple of holes on some of the flanges and it was designed as a sheet metal part. Now, if I go to flatten that part, we'll see what that looks like before all the bends. Essentially just a piece of sheet metal with some holes in it and some future bends represented here by these dotted lines. Now we can actually use this geometry, send it over to SolidCam and program off of that geometry just like we would any other solid model or even any kind of 2D sketch. And it's actually very simple. So let me close this down. So I'll just put that back to there and I'll exit out of the file. And let's go to the pre-programmed part. So you'll see that I brought it into this part as a flattened representation so I can do the programming. Essentially, we're going to program this when it's flat off of the sheet metal. I've added a couple of holes by drilling it, and I've actually basically cut the sheet out of, cut that profile out of the sheet. If we just do a quick simulation, we can take a look at the toolpath that I've added. So drill the holes, drill those countersunk holes, and I've cut that piece out of the sheet metal. So I programmed this with just some very simple toolpaths. Now, it is still a sheet metal part. So what happens if we go back to the feature manager? Let's just open this part for editing and unflatten it, basically uh, bend everything so it looks like the final part. You'll see that the stock definition is still there. And pretty much the stock, the target, all the toolpaths have stoplight symbols next to them. Now, usually the stoplight symbol just indicates that it just needs to be resynchronized. In this case, I'm not going to resynchronize it. I know that those toolpaths are okay. How do we fix that? Well, all we did was unflatten the part. If we go back, edit the part, and just flatten it. So this actual flattened uh, version is what we were programming. Now we'll just go back and resynchronize. And resynchronize and calculate. And the reason this is possible is even though we had flat versus unflat, um, the geometry is still the same. SolidWorks still applies the same ID numbers to those holes, to those features, any lines, arcs that I choose. So programming stays intact. It's just a matter of flattened versus unflattened. Now, if there's anything in here that you want to maintain uh, despite the, the version of the flattened file, there's always ways of doing that, adding sketches and so forth. Um, to make sure that it doesn't have those stop play symbols, you can always go to your settings. And we can go to synchronization and check, check synchronization on user demand. So only when I ask it to. Then once again, we'll go over there. We will unflatten it, exit the component, go back, and no stoplight symbols. Essentially, I've taken SolidCam's ability to automatically synchronize the part. So now, regardless of which, ver which version of the, of the part we're looking at, flat or unflat, we'll always have the ability to see the toolpaths. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. Send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or you can stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.